In North Carolina, there are 10.2 million hogs and 9.8 million humans. The 10.2 million hogs produce the same amount of liquid and fecal waste as about 100 million people, or one third of the United States population. We're smelling shit, is what we're smelling. It is not poop, it is shit. When you put people in a city, you gotta put in a wastewater treatment plant. Whether it's pig poop or, or, or human poop, it's the same. The technology to treat that was invented a long time ago. So the bottom line is, it's just more expensive. A good American would never stink up another American's home with feces and urine. There's a hog farm right down the street from me. They spray, I get to spray on me. I get to spray on my house windows. I get to spray on my car. I get to spray on my clothes. I live in the waste of the Dupuy County. The hog house is right there. And my clothes don't last me for six months. After six months, I shred them just like paper. Raising hogs has been a part of North Carolina agriculture for hundreds of years, both as food for the dinner table and as a source of income. It wasn't until around 1980 that pork production shifted from independent family-style farms to industrial pork growing factories. I don't have any problem with any man being in business. I have no problem with any man making money. That's up to you. But when it comes to the point where my health, my family health, and my grandchildren help, then becomes a problem there. Then you got a problem with me. Well, most people we know, being that you know, we're black, uh, how are you going to get away from it? Because that's where they're predominantly, predominantly located, in our neighborhoods. It's hard to get away from it unless you go to Raleigh or somewhere like that, really. I love Duke County. I love the people in Duke County. I guess you might say I'm one that uh, I was born here, I was raised here, and uh, I guess plan to die here. I don't plan to go anywhere else.